Welcome to another edition of the Three Wells.co podcast. I am Allison with Three Wells, and I am super excited to be talking to Carrie and Patty from Hello again today. So, hello to Carrie and Patty. Do you want to introduce yourselves and tell us who you are? Hi, Allison. I'm Patty Pappas, and this is Carrie Mapes, and we are the co founders of Hello Again Products, which are cannabis based vaginal suppositories formulated for women in menopause. Great. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background and and how Hello Again came to be and just your yeah. story? I'm super excited well, to hear about it. We've been friends for a long time. Our our first children were actually born on the same day, but we didn't we didn't know each other then. I will say, <laughs> but when they made it to preschool, we met. They we met when they were in preschool. They're now 23, and we've been kind of in and out of each other's lives for quite some time. But uh, when our youngest two, who who are uh, 21 right now, went off to college, Patty grabbed me. And said, let's go check out a dispensary. Have to tell you, I was nervous. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we went and um, at w- everything that we learned there, all the questions that we asked, we just drew a direct line between what the cannabis products were addressing and what we were experiencing in menopause. But when we looked around there really, first of all, there wasn't a product that appealed to us. We didn't want to smoke or vape. Um, the packaging back then in those days was all still really kind of black and gold and shiny green. And it, there was just nothing appealing. And then on the second look, we thought like, not only is there nothing that's really marketed to us, what we actually want isn't here, which was a way to use the THC to balance our systems, our mood system, our sleep systems, our cognition, um, without the high because we wanted something to use use in the morning use at night but not feel high just so we can feel like ourselves again and we kind of had a hunch that feeling like yourself again is what women in menopause really wanted to do so um that was kind of the beginning of the ideas of hello again i think when we went in that first dispensary we were considering it more of a recreational trip you know what are we going to find here that we could use for fun and place of a glass of wine or something but what we left that day and after visiting other dispensaries was that there's really a medicinal purpose for this plant. And how can we apply that in a way that we're comfortable with, and which is what we are not finding in the dispensary. So um, that was the beginning of the idea of Hello Again. Hello Again. So, and that whole notion of using THC um, in, in a consistent way where it hits you the same way every time and also can affect me in generally the same way that it would affect somebody else. Um, that plus the idea of not wanting to have the social, the uh, psychoactive high led us eventually to this product, not being a mint, not being a gummy, not being a transdermal patch or, you know, any of these things that would have been really fun, (laughs) um, that instead led us to, um, realizing that this needed to be a vaginal suppository. Great. So tell me a little bit more about that. Tell me about, um, how hello again is different and, and what you'll experience with that and, and why a woman in menopause would choose this over any other. Product. Right. Well, I think your listeners are familiar, I'm sure with, you know, the cannabinoid system and how that balances your body, how cannabinoids meeting your receptors balances your systems. Um, what they may or may not know. And what we certainly were really in, intrigued to find out was that the female reproductive tract is the second most dense area in the human body for cannabinoid receptors and the brain being the first. So, you know, that was one of the little steps down the road to us realizing that this needed to be a vaginal suppository. So when you use hello again, we have two SKUs, we have a day and a night. When you use hello again, kind of the first thing that happens is the receptors are are met with the cannabinoids and there's kind of a local response. But then just like a vaginal suppository is used as a delivery system for all kinds of medications. Um, there are blood vessels and capillaries as well that then kind of uptake the um, the ingredients in Hello Again and elongate the um, the effects. So, you want to talk a little bit about like you know what you can expect when you use it? Yeah. So, um, you know, once we realized it was the right way to. Uh, dispense the medicine or the cannabinoids plus the other ingredients that we have in it we can talk about later um to have it not give you that psychoactive high was really important for us and so when you use it even though we have a lot of thc in our product is the nighttime especially which if you took 20 milligrams of thc and as an edible i'd probably end up in the hospital Mm -hmm. room 
but we have that in our nighttime suppository. And one of a challenge that we do have is to try to um, educate people that as a suppository, you can take the benefit of all that THC and not get a psychoactive high. And that's really the beauty of the, this vaginal yeah. suppository for us is that we get to use all the benefits from the plant and not have to worry about, um, you know, we just want you to get along with the business of your day, get a good night's sleep. We want you to feel like yourself again, not a high person, not somebody who's under the influence of something, yeah. which, you know, is another, you know, and product. I mentioned the the receptors, but the, the kind of the second part of this is that, um, uh, the THC bypasses the liver with this delivery system. And, and what happens in the liver with THC is, is a big part of the psychoactivity. So, um, you know, it became really clear this needed to be a suppository, much to our 21-year-old children's <laughs> disappointment. <Yeah. laughs> so is that unique to this delivery method, the fact that it bypasses the liver like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's so one thing you yes. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the big symptoms of menopause is vaginal dryness. So just you know, that's just a bonus to having a BS a vaginal suppository that we our base is um cocoa butter, avocado oil, and vitamin E. So it's very soothing and moisturizing. And that just took care of that pro you know, that was like check. <laughs> We've got yeah. that one without even, you know, really having to work on it. So um, we address, and I don't know how much your listeners know about the symptoms of menopause and then for men out there, if you're listening, these are the symptoms, which uh, first of all, women of all ages need a good night's sleep. I, I don't know how, you know, just as you get older, um, for some reason that starts to escape everybody, but, um, mental fog is a big deal. Um, hot flashes are a big deal. Um, um, mood, stability, anxiety, all those things, all of which can be addressed by cannabis and all of which, um, you know, are, can go on for years and years for women and they start to layer on top of each other. And so little by little, you start feeling less and less like yourself. And that's what I think most women, when they're in the throes of their menopausal symptoms will feel like, I just, I just feel crazy. I don't feel like myself anymore. So that's really, you know, the basis of our, um, how we, how we came about this product, because we just want women to go back to those, the way they felt before all those symptoms started to layer on top of each other and kind of take you out. Yeah. I was describing, uh, you know, obviously we talk about menopause a lot in our houses, but <laughs> yes. I was describing it all to my son. He said, Oh, it's like a 10 year hangover. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're anxious. <laughs> You're tired. You're tired. You're inflamed. <laughs> yeah, pain. We didn't talk about pain, yeah. but you know, pain. Whether pain is associated with menopause or is associated with the age you are when you're going through menopause, or menstrual cramps, endometriosis, pain. Uh, this product is helping women with manage that kind of pain really, really well, and in a way that an end of day product doesn't. In a way that you know, pharmaceuticals that address pain. Um, you know, aren't teaming you up to be productive during the day. And our product is taking away the pain without layering on that, you know, grogginess or you know, sleepiness or anything else hot or a psychoactive high. So we've really been excited that <clears throat> although we were formulated for menopause, women, especially in um, bed tenders are using, yeah. that's kind of how we realized that this is happening. Bed tenders and our own kids were using it for, for menstrual pain. Uh, and really debilitating uh, endometriosis pain as well. And on the other, actually on the other side of the, of the spectrum, um, we have women who are well past menopause, but certain components of that don't go away. Dryness doesn't go away. Um, hot flashes might, but dry, dryness doesn't. Sleep, sleep issues don't go away. Anxiety and mood, mood you know, um, stabilizing mood is still a need after that. But, um, but also, bursitis pain, arthritis pain, you know, the aches and pains that are, that are um, manifested because of inflammation. This is really helping women with that too. So this is, I, I'm just so interested in the fact that this is a product that could be used for women of all ages, it sounds like. So is, are, so it doesn't make you high. It does make you feel like yourself again. Um, but what specifically are you seeing it help particularly with um, it, symptoms wise across the board? Well, so we have two SKUs. The nighttime one, if you, you know, brushing your teeth, washing your face, you use a hello again, you get in bed, you, you know, maybe open your book for a few pages, 
you definitely can feel a, like a, a, a wash of calm and relaxation that really kind of does emanate from your pelvis. And, you know, you can just kind of lean into that, go to sleep, stay asleep, or, you know, many of us have to get up in the night for this reason or that, go back to sleep, which is really the, that's, yeah. that is that's the what thing. took me down. Yeah. I mean, waking up and then start thinking about what happens the next day and what did I do, you know, that day that I didn't get done or whatever. And then you're awake for two hours watching the clock tick away. So right. it, it definitely, um, I actually had a call from a friend this morning who tried it last night for the first time. And she said, oh my God, I got up to go to the bathroom. And then I came back and all of a sudden it was 630 in the morning and I had fallen back asleep. So that's the, that's the nighttime. And then the daytime is a little more subtle, but what we like to tell people is put it in, try it. And then at the end of the day, notice how your day went. And, and I think you'll get a lot less aggravated at things that used to aggravate you. You react better to situations because you're just more stable and um, less anxious. And I always say I, I clean out an extra drawer in my desk, or I did a more, you know, a couple more errands on the way home. You just have that extra energy to, um, to, to tend to things and a little more focus to get things done during the day. But also if you, if you're having hot flashes, yes. it will address that. Maybe you'll still start to get a little bit warm, but you can open a window, take off your sweater and it goes back down. Like, you know, it used to before you were in menopause, you don't get that you know, that fire that just keeps burning and burning, no matter how many windows you open, no matter what you do, it just has to burn out. It really, really addresses that. And for me as well, um, mental cognition, that, that brain fog was the thing that really took me to my knees. I really did not, I did not know that that was a result of hormone imbalance. And I, I really thought I was, I was on the path to early onset Alzheimer's. I couldn't remember words, word recall, I was my, of course, my kids were saying, I told you that, mom, I told you that, you know, I would go to the store I'd come back with three things, but not the thing I went for in the first place, all of it. Um, and it really helps with that for me. And I will use it preemptively if I know I have a big day and I want to find my words. <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll use it for that. And then we have a lot of, we have a lot of friends who are maybe don't identify with being in the early stages of menopause yet based on their age. But certainly COVID really made a lot of mothers' lives extremely complicated. And now all of a sudden, everybody's home, Zoom calls for your kids, you're doing your own work, you know, maybe your partner is also working from home, whatever, like just, you know, the pressure on the household went up. And um, we have a, a woman that works with us that you that said this was a lifesaver for that. Just, it brought her... It, it allowed her to be the rock and the foundation that everybody was expecting her to be because she wasn't irritable. You know, she was calm. She was yeah. not, not, not taking those fighting words. <laughs> I wish I had had cannabis available to me when my kids were little. I mean, you know, we had wine at the end of the day. A lot of my friends would take Ambien at night to help sleep. I mean, all the different things that only make you feel worse you know, and, and, um, I, I wish, I wish cannabis had been legal all these years so we could have studied more and we know exactly, you know, how to use it better. So it's, we're getting, we're getting there, but, um, it's been helpful. So tell me a little bit, how, I, how did you go down the road of production? Did you do, did you go through a long like research and testing phase or who did you work with to do that? Um, was it all you? What's, what's the story? So we, we found a professional formulator and worked with him really closely. And also we had a couple of different medical consultants. Um, a doctor who was already using cannabis for palliative care was really helpful to us as far as the dosing. Um, what the, Our approach to R&D was to formulate the product without the cannabis. So we've got, we've got other botanicals in each of our SKUs. Um, we don't need to list them, but... You know, it's not surprising lavender and chamomile are in our nighttime formula. And, you know, we've got hops and, and other things in the daytime, green tea extract um, at, to target all of the symptoms that we've been talking about. And we felt strongly from the beginning that we wanted that to be a part of our product because we believed in it. Um, so we formulated first just with those botanicals, just to see, I mean, first of all, if they didn't make a difference, then why are they in there in the first place? So we wanted to see how, um, what the efficacy was with just the botanicals. And that was the hardest part of the formulation stage, getting it 
getting the melt rate right, getting the color right, getting the smell right, um, and then balancing out these botanicals so that the formulation wasn't so complicated. But we had kind of the rock stars, we identified the rock star botanicals for what we wanted to do. So that I would say that was the bulk of it. Mm-hmm. And then the layering into the THC and the CBD, we had, um, we worked with medical professionals, as I said. Um, so we had an idea of which ratios to try first. And that part went pretty quickly. Yeah. Very cool. I'm, I'm just fascinated with the whole process. And um, I'm wondering a little bit more about, because you're kind of ticking all my boxes as um, somebody who's probably entering this phase of life sooner than later. Um, <laughs> so I'm wondering, tell me more about like the experience of once you use this, uh, how quickly does it take effect? Um, do you need to sustain use or is it kind of, like, you know, like, can you use yeah, it? on? The I mean, it's um, I use it every day, pretty much in every night. Carrie kind of goes every two or three days to keep her systems in balance. It's completely personal. It's mm-hmm. a ha- as you need it. Um, if you put a, like Carrie said, you put a sleep in, you brush your teeth, you kind of get ready for bed, you go to bed, you'll drift off the daytime. And and it takes about a half an hour before you start feeling the effects Mm -hmm. and it would last up to about six hours. And the same for the every day you put it in, you know, anytime during the day, it takes about a half an hour before you start, you know, you can start feeling the effects and then, um, and then it lasts about six hours as well. Yeah. I'm going to try a panty liner. Yeah. Not everybody needs one, but, yeah. you know, every body is different. <laughs> but, you know, one of the beauties of, of the suppository, another great reason why this is, is, it really only depends upon body temperature, really, to melt and start taking effect versus going through the digestive tract. You know, you just exercise or you, you have a full stomach or you don't, you metabolism speed or whatnot. So, it's pretty consistent yeah. about a half an hour and it's discreet, which was really important for us too. Mm-hmm. Nobody needs to know that you're using it when you're using it. There's no, you know, obvious smell or, you know, anything you just yeah. get it in and then, and, and you're, you're good to go. It doesn't smell like pot. Right. That was very high yeah. on the list. Of yeah. things yeah. That <laughs> <couldn't be. laughs> you're not going to get sniffed out. <laughs> <laughs> that, would that would be very bad. Yeah. Uh, libido, we didn't yeah. talk about libido, but you know, our, we, our approach, this isn't a lube, but we didn't, we didn't make this as a personal lubricant, but, um, our approach to this is a little bit more holistic than that. And, you know, CBD is, um, a muscle relaxant. So the pelvic floors muscles can relax a little bit and, um, THC is a vasodilator. So, you know, blood flow, good things happen there. Um, and if if you're not sweating and you've had a good night's sleep and you're in a good mood and you're not irritable, you know, then that sort of sets the stage for a better intimate experience than, than you would otherwise. So, um, and moisturize, you know, if you're not having problems, issues with vaginal dryness. So, um, yeah, we've gotten a lot of great feedback on, 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 um, libido or sexual wellness for using Hologan. So that's a great segue, I think, into how um, men might interact with this product. Is that is there anything that men can know about this or, or a role that they might have in their partners using Hello Again? Well, first of all, I think yeah, men can use depositories. That's not that's that's not a yeah. news bulletin. I'm not going to so. say that they can't. There is a way to do it. And we've, yeah. we've had a couple of people ask us from dispensaries and we said, go for it. We haven't gotten a lot of feedback, yeah. so we're welcome out there. If anybody wants to try it and give us feedback, we would love it. Yeah, the THC and the CBD, I mean, certainly there will be an effect. I will say the blood vessels and capillaries in the um, rectum are bigger. So that's one difference. And there are fewer cannabinoid receptors than in the female reproductive tract. So caveat there, but please let us know. Yeah. <laughs> for, for men in general, I would say, you know, if you could start to recognize symptoms of menopause or perimenopause, more importantly, in a woman, that would be like the, the best thing you could ever do. Because, you know, to dismiss a woman saying you're crazy, you know, your memory's gone, you know, you're irritable, you're all this stuff. Well, if you take a minute and you start to, and it, Carrie referenced this article that I think will be up on three wells pretty soon. You know, if you can recognize the symptoms and then go get your wife, something to help her that would make her feel better and more like herself, then that's, that's a plus. That's, yeah. that's what we're hoping for. I think sometimes women are, are a little bit hesitant to try this only because of what their husbands might think. So, you know, I, and 
my opinion is their husbands want their yeah. husbands, their, their, their partners back. <laughs> you know, we do get a lot of messages saying my husband thanks you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very yeah. holistic family yeah. wise. Yeah. Too. <laughs> exactly. But the article that Patty was talking about, we have a great article um, written by a man explaining menopause um, for men. And um, we're going to get that up on the three wells shortly. So please, it's great. It's a great article. It's funny. It's great. Um, but it's also very informative. So we encourage you to click on three wells and take a look at that. Great. So I wanted to go back a little bit to what you were saying earlier about the um, dispensary experience and kind of, I'd love to hear the story of that first visit between you two and the dispensary and then maybe seeing your own product in dispensaries now and how that whole experience has changed. And and then maybe we can talk about where you can find hello again too. I mean, we walked in, I think both of us thought we were going to, you know, it was going to be sketchy and, you know, yeah. We hope nobody sees us kind of thing, but it was a beautiful store. It was called the Pottery LA. It's here in Los Angeles. It, it was like a jewelry store. I mean, we walked in, we couldn't have been more happy to see the presentation and all the products and the, and the uh, you know, the merchandising and everything was beautiful. And we went, I think shortly after it opened, like at nine in the morning as we do, and yeah. nobody was really, no, not many other customers were there. So we had all the staff kind of to ourselves, which which was really lucky because they were patient and they were knowledgeable and they took us through kind of giving us a lesson about all the products and, and everything. It was a, such an eye opener for us because we really knew nothing prior to that about cannabis at all. And so um, that led us to going into more dispensaries, looking at more products, testing products, trying different, you know, delivery methods and um, some were not good experiences. <laughs> Some were okay, but um, you know, the, all of it kind of funneled into this perfect, we think perfect delivery system, system of the vaginal suppository. So then now Pottery LA does carry. Hello yeah. again. That was a great day. It was one of the first dispensaries actually to buy us, which was amazing. I mean, that was, that was fantastic. And now we, we pretty much cover from San Francisco down to San Diego. And I mean, we're getting on more and more shelves and um, it's been, it's been amazing. I mean, the dispensary uh, staff, I would encourage anybody not to be nervous. If you go into a reputable, reputable dispensary, they are, you know, smart and knowledgeable and will take time and try to help you figure out which product there is best for you. I do like whenever I think about that, there's one thing that comes up for me, which is I don't think that we would have done this if we had taken that first trip into a dispensary at 25 years old, 35 yeah. years old. There's something about being this age, this kind of menopause ish, 50 ish age that you just kind of have this transformation where you just care less about what people think you trust yourself more. And I just think that we wouldn't have approached this the same way we probably wouldn't have allowed ourselves as much time in there. We wouldn't want to take up too much of their time. We yeah. wouldn't have, you know, maybe asked some of the stupid, stupid questions that we felt, you know, that we asked. And certainly if we'd had this idea, I don't think that we would have had the self-confidence to just keep moving forward. And um, especially in, 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 in um, we've never started a business before, let alone, you know, in the, in the cannabis industry. So um, there is something kind of poetic, I think, that, that this product is addressing this, the physicality of being our age, but I think that the, the emotional and, and, and the personal development of being our age is, has affected mm-hmm. our ability to be able to, to do this, mm-hmm. to make this pivot in life and believe in ourselves and believe in this product and do it. So it's a nice 50-year-old story. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I was going to ask you how long um, Hello Again has been here around. We've been on the shelf our, our, uh, since um, February 2019, just before COVID hit. We, we were on two shelves and we were we had all these plans to have big events and in person, you know, menopause, all, all, all these things <laughs> to have doctors come teach women, you know, open the dialogue about menopause, open the dialogue about cannabis, shut down two weeks later. But also, people were more willing to look for alternatives during COVID, and we grew, and we're, I think we're almost on 22 shelves now, so we've been doing great, and um, if you go on our website, you can find all the stores that we're in and delivery services that we're in, 
But please sign up for our newsletter because we are getting in more and more shelves every week. We're getting on more and more shelves and that all that information goes out in our newsletter. Or, or look on three wells. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, can you purchase online? You can through through our website. Um, you can find the store or delivery service that's near you when you put in your um, zip code. So um, just like Three Wells, if you go on Three Wells site, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But no, we can't ship. We can't, we cannot ship yet. It all has to happen through a licensed dispenser in California. California. Still in California, we can only sell in California so far. <laughs> Next is the world, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the typical price point for this product? Do you want to tell us how much? That Generally, is? well, unfortunately for cannabis products, uh, you know, there's there's taxes. There's a cannabis tax, and then you pay your state tax and your city tax. So that adds a lot to a product. But it generally goes from anywhere between about forty dollar forty. Four dollars to about fifty-four dollars, depending on your your local taxes, yeah. and that's a, for a box of eight. Right. So, yeah. So you know, we kind of ballpark that as the price of you know the the specialty coffee or the the cold pressed juice or all the right. other things that we buy ourselves to feel better. Yeah, I think that's very aligned with um, wellness products that are of good quality. Yeah. I mean, cannabis, really, there's a, a lot of taxation on, and, and it's a little bit confusing for any cannabis product because when you look on dispensary websites, some dispensaries and delivery services bake in the taxes so that when you get to the list price, so when you get to the cashier, you only pay the sales tax and it feels more like a retail experience that we're all used to. Others don't do that. The list price is lower, but then you get to the register and, you know, all of the cannabis taxes are added on there. So it looks like there's a big discrepancy between dispensaries on pricing, but it's, it's, it's not as big as it appears. So you mentioned your newsletter. I would love to encourage everybody to sign up for that and we'll post some links um, for that as well. Um, tell us what we can find in your newsletter. Are you, are you sharing lots of um, menopausal Menopause, did you say menopausium? Was that yeah, we, do. Yeah. we try to share all kinds of things that we think are interested interesting um to women. Sometimes we have gift guides, sometimes we definitely have we pass on great articles that we found about all kinds of you know parts of women's health, mental health and physical health. We always um spotlight different women, we dynamite different women who are doing fantastic things and breaking barriers, and then of course announcements about the product as well. So do you have plans to resume your, your menoposium or any of the events that you didn't get to do now that things are slowly reopening? For yes. Sure. Maybe on clubhouse. I mean, yeah. you know, everything's just a little bit different than it was a year and a half ago. So, you know, some in person for sure. We definitely want to be doing that, but yeah. um, we're looking at clubhouse or, you know, all kinds of options. Well, and as dispensaries open up and are allowing events there too, we're, we're, we're really excited to get back and, start doing those kind of events um, in the dispensaries. And you mentioned uh, women particularly being affected by COVID. Um, that's very resonant for me. So I'm a mom and um, my partner works at home and my kids are home and everybody's home. And it's, it's very, um, very resonant, but I'm, I'm guessing, and I'm curious how you think COVID affected your sales and your brand awareness, maybe just because it's, it was a time where people were more introspective than they normally would have been. And they were kind of like thinking about ways they could um, change their own health and wellness at, from the comfort of their home. So is, have you had any anecdotes about that or um, feedback about that? Or? Just as in a, in a personal story, a lot of our friends, you know, maybe weren't open to cannabis. They remember marijuana from when they were younger. Um, and they were a little bit closed off to the idea of even trying it. But months and months into COVID, you know, how many bottles of wine can you drink at the end of the day? Yeah. The, you know, to have a, a, a natural alternative or a plant alternative, we, we definitely got some calls from people saying, wait, what are you doing? And where do I get it? And maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I'll try it now. Like, so the so I think people were pushed so far um, to the point that they needed something that they were they were willing more willing to try a cannabis product than maybe they were, you know, before COVID. Um, for sure, yeah. Fewer just dist- fewer distractions. You know, we were all, we were all forced to sit still a little bit, 
And, um, you know, a lot of good can come of that for sure. Self-care being at the top of the list. Definitely. And I'm curious, you mentioned earlier about some of the effects that um, alcohol has and perhaps other delivery methods of cannabis um, that Hello Again does not have. And would you talk a little bit more about that and and kind of the negative effects you're not going to see from you? Yeah, well, I just actually found a really interesting article about about the use of alcohol as you age. And it, it really mm-hmm. rang true to me and it, it makes perfect sense. But and I'll summarize, I hope I get all the points in. But you know, one of them was that your circulation as you age um, is is more slow. So you're you're just you're generally your body circulation is slower, which means when you're intaking, let's just say the same amount of alcohol you used to, it's running through your system more slowly, and it's running through your liver more slowly, and therefore it's detoxifying all of that more slowly. So you're feeling the effects of it more, which I thought was amazing. Secondly, your water weight, the, the amount of water volume you have in your in your body decreases. So the alcohol is less diluted. And then third, this, this part, this one I don't love. <laughs> your eyes are going anyway. Your balance is going anyway. Your recall and memory are going anyway. Your word recall is going anyway. All of that stuff. So the effects of alcohol on those things are, is, is exacerbated. So, you know, you feel like you're getting drunk faster because you're really having a hard time finding your word or whatever. So I thought that was extremely interesting. And then, you know, a a lot of people just really, really struggle with the after effects of alcohol. Like they just, you know, you, I just can't drink like I used to is a real, is a real thing. Um, And then, you know, conversely, even, you know, our product's a little bit different, but even using cannabis recreationally in place of alcoholic with a beverage or something, you know, smoke or whatever, you know, you sleep well, you sleep deeply, it, you don't have the restless sleep that the sugar and the alcohol and the processing of the alcohol provide. And you don't have, you wake up refreshed. So, I mean, what, what, a, what a swap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. Even if you use products, like you mentioned, other products, if you smoke or you vape or you do edibles or something, you know, they, they, they are plant-based. So yeah, it's a much less uh, harsh effect on your body than and alcohol or prescription medicine or you can th- talk speak a little bit about sleeping aids too about prescription sleeping pills I and mean, those for women really metabolize differently than for men as well and um really stay in the fat tissues of your body and can cause some really dramatic yeah. effects over time yeah i have heard that especially about ambien and how things yeah. are very affect women much differently than men um so it's it's really exciting to see a women forward product that is uh, specifically formulated with women in mind <laughs> so yeah we're we're grateful to the product for sure it's a really really great time of life it really is and um for some of the reasons we talked about later just from a personal development standpoint but you know if you're finished child rearing or you know you're in a different you just in a different place in your life and it can be so dynamic and wonderful but you got to feel good well and a lot of women you know when we look back at menopause and we think of our grandmothers living at home in their house by themselves we're not women like that anymore there are women our age that have young children still there are women our age that are starting to date for the first time women like us that are starting a business for the first time so we're we're not you know, we, we need to feel like ourselves. We need to be the best we can be yeah. to enjoy this time of life. Cause there's still, you know, there, somebody gave us a quote that we're the first generation of women of, at 50 that have 50 good years left. So, you know, we're going to make the most of it. That's so important. I did not think of that, but that's, yeah, you're hundred percent right. <laughs> this is the only the halfway point. Yeah. Um, do you have any insight into what traditional menopause uh, remedies were being used for the older generations versus now? Well, you know, our, like, I think our grandmothers tolerated it mostly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, our mothers then had the option to medicate with hormone replacement therapy, which, you know, works wonders. And actually we should mention, you know, can be used with our product. I personally, I stopped using it when, when we were, first launching our product and just used only our product to see what would happen. And I've never gone back. I've been able to, to, to handle all of my symptoms and everything with just hello again, but we have many women who have other reasons. Yeah, Yeah, I do. I stayed on my hormone therapy um, and still use hello again. Yeah. But what it, what, uh, what 
our product allows women who are still on hormone therapy to do is it will take up the gap. So, you know, maybe you can stay in a lower right. dose of your hormone therapy because Hologan can take care of, you know, take care of some of the over, uh, not overlap, I guess yeah. it would be the gap. Um, so, but anyway, yeah, our moms, you know, I think that for the first time hormone replacement therapy was an option. We all know, we, you know, we already mentioned sleeping pills and um, alcohol. Um, for very severe hot flashes, there's some off-label uh, uses for, um, for is it gabapentin? It's a, yeah. um, a, a anti-seizure medication. Yeah, but that, that sounds great to take, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't actually have that yeah, This will make you feel better. <laughs> and uh, off off it, you know, and antidepressants for if you're, you know, yeah. you may not be clinically depressed, but antidepressants are, are, have been used as well. So, I mean, it, our opinion is that, you know, women seem to be open to trying all of those kind of pharmaceuticals. Um, this should be something that women are open to trying as well, because I mean, our opinion is that, you know, this is, this is a powerful product without as much, as much risk. A natural solution. Is this a product you'd want to, um, if you're currently taking medications, you'd want to discuss with your doctor? I mean, we would always course. say to yeah. discuss yeah. with yeah. your doctor, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Great. Um, is there anything else you want our listeners to hear about Hello Again? Well, I think, um, you know, if there's anybody out there that it resonates with any of the symptoms that we've been talking about, to just give it a try because um, it's out there and, and um, we, think it's, we think it's a miracle. I mean, we really feel like we've been helping a lot of women. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback and, and um, don't be afraid to try cannabis as a wellness solution in general, just because it, it has so much potential to help you make you feel better. And, and um, there's a lot of great products out there, especially for you know, any, and lots of different symptoms and just don't be afraid to go into a dispensary and don't be afraid to go on three wells and try and, and look, there's a lot of great information on there too. So mm. just educate yourself and, and be open to it. Where can we find you online other than three wells.co? Well, our website is hello again, products.com. And our social media is also hello again, products with an S at the end. And there's a contact us a uh, link in there too, which goes directly to Patty and me, one of us, whoever gets up earlier in the morning. <laughs> Depends what time well, you if it's contact late at night, us. you'll get it from Carrie. If it's early in the morning, you'll hear from me. <laughs> <laughs> but we respond to all of the all of the inquiries and um, you know, we, we ingredient lists and, and questions about all that kind of stuff we were happy to respond to. Um, but basically we want you to feel good and we're grateful to this product. We weren't looking to get into any kind of business. We were not looking for a project. We are doing this and it is now a more than full-time job. We're doing this because we had an idea, we tried it and it worked. And we really just are so proud to be able to kind of bring, to bring it to women and help people. We always say strengthen the V-force, help women be their best. The world is going to be better if women are at their best. Thank you so much. I just want to remind everyone that this has been brought to you by threewells.co. Be well, live well, and do well. We have a great growing library of more podcasts on threewell.co and our YouTube channel, which is linked on our website. So please be sure to check those out. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Hello again. And I think we should all try it. Yay. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. It was great. Thank you. Bye, Allison.